Oh. It's ooze. Oh, what? Ah, what is? Ah. Ah, get off. I feel weird. Demolition Ranch, I want to say thanks to our friends at Warpath for sponsoring this video. Warpath is a realistic military strategy game that features hundreds of authentic weapons. The new major September update will also introduce the Air Force version, which includes 42 new bomber and fighter units, two Air Force commanders, and new Air Force buildings. Also, I want to let you guys know that I am the new brand ambassador for Warpath. You can check out my character in the game, the Warpath Munitions Expert. You need weapons? I can get you everything. I'm going to get you commanders all the best weapons so you can dominate the sky and win the war. My character is part of the September update, so click the link in the description below and use my code demolition underscore ranch to download the game today, meet me in the game, get tons of authentic weapons, and play Warpath today. Thanks to Warpath for sponsoring this episode of Demolition Ranch. Turn the tide of war, triumph over the enemy. New Air Force release soaring your way. Dominate the sky. Win the war. Do you guys want to see my manhole? Check this out. Uh, so we wanted to know if a bullet will go through a sewer manhole. Or really, we want to know if a sewer manhole will stop a bullet. If you're in the streets, which I am all the time, and bad guys come up, I just want to know if I can pick up a manhole and touch the manhole and get it to block the bullet. Uh, so we ordered this one. Turns out, real small, it's a tiny manhole. So we ordered another one. You guys want to see my giant manhole? Oh, no, 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 it's over. Come here, guys. Check this thing out. We got this giant, ridiculously heavy manhole. So just the lid here, the cover, is 210 pounds. They have that written on here so people don't throw out their back trying to get this thing. Uh, 210 pounds just for the center cover, and then it has this thing that goes in the ground and is covered with concrete to lock it in, which is another 200 something pounds. This thing weighs almost 500 pounds of cast iron. We got it in the truck with a forklift. We do not have a forklift out here, uh, so we're gonna have to get a little, uh, yeah. Little redneck ingenuity going on to figure out how to move this thing. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. We got these ropes tied to my giant manhole going up to this tree, and we're just gonna drive the truck out from under it and see how it works. Let's do it. Okay. Just five. I probably should get back from under that tree. Oh, no, he's going fast. Oh! <laughs> Golly, how are we gonna stop this? Uh, uh, okay, that actually worked pretty good. Whoa, okay, yeah. Redneck ingenuity at its finest. I was thinking Hickok has a gong on his range, like we need a gong on our range. We could do that at the start of every Demolition Ranch video, like commence. I wish it would make wang more. Anyway, we got it tied up, angled pretty good. Uh, so the question is, will it stop a bullet? So this is just solid cast iron, as you can see. Um, we are going to shoot it right in the middle to see if you pulled this thing up out of the street to stop a bad guy, if it would in fact stop a bad guy. Check this out. I have a new Kimber, and Kimber hooked it up, sent this to me with a really nice range bag. Let's see, let's do a little, a little unboxing, see what's in here. Okay, we'll get to, we'll get to this later. Uh, first, they sent some Kimber earmuffs, a holster, a small concealed holster, a little cleaning kit, and some Kimber Eye Pro. Thanks Kimber, you guys are awesome. Now, the stuff we actually care about. Check this out, the new Kimber. R7 Mako. 
pretty neat. So this is basically in the compact concealed pistol category. They wanted to enter the game, so they have a little Crimson Trace red dot on there. And then what's kind of interesting about this, uh, well, you can see it has a double stack magazine. And then the top of the slide is closed in. A lot of guns are open right here. That is just to keep any gases from hitting the red dot here. It's also to make it keep a little cleaner. But we're gonna try it out today. So here's the beauty of the red dot. You can see this camera is not focusing on the gun, but you can still see that red dot on whatever you'd point it at. Kinda cool, that's really out of focus. There it is. Sweet. So it looks like it comes apart just like a Glock. Yep, just like a Glock. Uh, that's pretty much it. And they have, you can see this one has the extended base plate so you get a little more rounds in there. This one has a flat base plate. Okay, we're good to go. Uh, we should shoot it first. Also, it has night sights on it. First shot, I have not shot this thing yet. Okay, now let's try one more. I'm kind of intrigued with the small pistol game. I have a 365 that I carry all the time. I have a Hellcat. This thing is just in that market now, so it's competing. So I was curious to try it out and see how the Kimber stacks up. Sweet. Okay, all good. That is the Kimber R7 Mako. Now let's shoot my manhole. We're going to shoot 9mm at the teeny tiny manhole over there and see if it stops or goes through. It went right through. <laughs> okay, so not only is uh, this manhole small, this is a very weak manhole. So I'm gonna show you guys my stronger manhole now that's bigger and really large, and we're gonna put something in my big, large manhole. You guys have seen these kind of videos before where like stuff goes through way faster than what we thought it would. I really was hoping the little manhole would stop a nine. It didn't! Uh, so. Now I'm really, really hoping the large manhole will stop a nine. So let's find out. I'm just gonna shoot a few. Okay, let's go check it out and hope this video doesn't terribly suck. Hit, 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 hit. Yeah, nothing went through. The thing about cast iron is cast iron's super brittle. So I've shot cast iron skillets before. When you shoot steel, when you start getting close to going through, it will bend the steel, it'll make bulges, it'll make dents. Cast iron doesn't do that. It stops everything until it fails. So that's why that first round on the little one just broke through. And that's why these don't have any bins or anything. Because this one's a lot stronger, a lot thicker, but it's such a hard, brittle metal that it will not bend. It will just hold it back until it can't, and then it will just explode. So let's see if we can make it explode. That was the R7 Mako. It just came out. This thing is brand new, and uh, I'm liking it. Good job, Kimber. Next up, we're going to try a very small round out of a very large pistol. This is the kel P50, as is this. Also have a Crimson Trace red dot on this thing. Uh, and this thing shoots the 5.7 round uh, that the, the FN P90 shoot, that the FN 5.7 shoot. Uh, I'm just gonna shoot a, a few. Uh, I, well, I'm gonna shoot a few, I'll see how many I actually hit with this thing, because I'm gonna shoot both. I, I don't know if I did anything there. We actually had a malfunction in the left one. So, we'll see if it works now. Yeah, not sure what was going on, but it works fine now. Okay, let's see what happened. Did the 5.7 go through? No, there's a hit there. Actually did knock a chunk off though. That is a hit, there's a good dent there. Here's a hit, there's a good dent here. That looks like a hit, that's for sure a hit. There's a hit down here. Yeah, long story short, nothing. Nothing went through, or even looks like it's going through with the 5.7 round. So let's go up, I think we just need to go to a rifle. No, let's do shotgun. Shotgun first. 12 gauge, we are shooting double lot buckshot out of this thing first to see what happens. Jeez, that hits so hard. Weaker than the 5.7 for sure. You can see there's more like damage here, but no dents, no dings. Okay, uh, the second round I have loaded in here is a one ounce slug. 
That actually could go through. There's a lot of energy there. So far, we found out that if someone's shooting at you with a 9mm or with a 5.7, I mean, the, the 5.7, for those who don't know, is like a super hot, fast pistol round. It's good at going through body armor. But even if they had that, it's not going to go through the manhole cover. So let's see if a giant freaking one out slug will. There it is, that is a good dent right there, but not even close to going through. I kind of want to actually try another pistol round that I just decided would be awesome to try on this. It's a Magnum. Next up is the Desert Eagle We're shooting this 50 AE. I just wanted to show you guys the difference between the 5.7 and the 50 AE. Huge round there firing out of the Desert Eagle. Big old 50 cal. I think the manhole will stop it, but I don't know. Now the age-old question, can a Magnum penetrate my manhole? Ugh, I, I think it won't. Dude. I think it stopped. I, that was a powerful Magnum going into my manhole. I mean, we for sure hit it. It's still swinging. I don't know where, though. That was our hit. Just looked at the GoPro. Boom. No dent. Uh, it made a lot of stuff around it. A lot of frag went everywhere. But not even close to going through, which is great. So now, let's move it up to a fan favorite rifle, but one you haven't seen on the channel in a little while. The SKS, chambered in 762 by 39 It's one that people have a love-hate relationship with. These things used to be pretty cheap. Now they're getting pretty expensive. Uh, very cool gun. Shoots the same round as the AK-47. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> I almost shot it without putting the uh, bayonet up. That would have been so silly. Would have not hit anything. So this thing does not have a detachable magazine. It just has this little kind of magazine that's hooked in here. So, jams, jams instantly. Okay, that's why people have a love-hate. I actually do need to get rid of this round now because look at this. When I did that, I can't get it out now. It shoved the bullet back uh, into the case. Uh, this is not a standard 762. We're just, we're just, we're not gonna shoot that one. <laughs> There's the one that got jammed in there. Oh, uh, we're shooting some weird kind of copper ammo because I wanted to see if it penetrated. Maybe that doesn't run very good at SKS. That was actually the first time I've ever tried to fire like not surplus ammo in there. But we're gonna try to feed this one in more gently because I really wanna see what it does to my manhole. Okay, got the round in the chamber already. Okay, this one shall fire. I don't think it went through. I really thought that had a chance. That's close. And I'm actually really surprised that it would make that much damage without actually cracking going through. I have no idea how thick this thing is. I just know this thing weighs like 450 pounds. So it's thick. But dude, that SKS almost went through. Also, look at that great aim. That's why people love the SKS. Such a cool gun, but not cool enough to destroy my manhole. Let's see if we can find something they can destroy my manhole. This is that 762 by 39 that we just shot. This is a 6.5 Creedmoor. So you can see it has a bigger around case, plus a taller case, plus a much bigger bullet. So it's a smaller diameter, but much longer bullet. This thing is freaking booking it, going fast. I would bet a taco that it's going through my manhole. But there's only one way to find out. I think that, I think it might have stopped. I don't know. How did that not go through? Also, how am I so accurate on the only target I don't actually have to be accurate on? Normally, I'm just like trying to hit something that's this big and the bullets, all my guns are not sided in. I'm shooting all my sided in guns right at the center of this thing. Look at that thing. Can't you see anything over here? So a lot of times you'll see like some cracking or some like some of the paint coming off or some of the rust chipping off. There's nothing. This looks totally fine. I didn't want to have to do this, but guys, we're going to have to bring out the big guns for my manhole. So far, we've only got like a half inch of penetration into my manhole. So what we're going to do is get a thicker, longer bullet to see if we can really penetrate deep and really hurt my manhole. 
there's only one way to find out. This is a 50 BMG out of this Barrett. Going straight up the sewer lid. Yeah, it's for sure going through. What? Man, I am super surprised. They even took out the whole S. Now it just says Anitary. Really, really surprised. I, I thought 6.5 had a chance going through. Dude, this is thick. That's still about the same amount of penetration as the 6.5 did. It's just got a bigger hole. Okay, we're gonna have to get an armor penetrating round and see if we can armor penetrate my manhole. That is a red and silver tip. That's an armor piercing incendiary tracer. Incendiary means that it'll put a little bit of fire in my manhole. So that should be good. And then the armor penetrating tip. I think it will be enough to get through and we will finally penetrate my manhole. There's the smoke from my manhole. Yep, that went through. Crazy. Okay, that's really weird though. It's going through at a weird angle. I shot it from like this angle and it's going through like here. So it must have hit and then just curved through. Oh, that's actually where... That's where the other 50 cal hit. Look at that. So it was, that other 50 cal was really close to going through. But I mean, you see how this is just so brittle. Like it made it just a small enough hole for that 50 cal to get through. Didn't like explode the back or anything. This one almost went through and started cracking. Jeez. Okay. So class, what we have learned here is that my manhole is very strong. And if anyone is trying to shoot you with a pistol round, with a rifle round, even a 50 cal, and you get this thing, you pick it up like this, you're good to go. Unless they bring out the fire penetrator rounds. Those are dangerous to your manhole. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this entire video about my manhole. It really took a beating today, but it stood up well and I'm proud of it, and I think we will be able to pound it plenty of years in the future. Thanks so much for watching this episode of the I love you! And I'll see you next time. It's quite simple. There's only one rule in the demolitia. You don't tell mayor. I came in like a wrecking ball. That really actually hit my man.